when asking yourself, how do you fuel for training sessions? You gotta know some things about you, and that's you. And you got two fuel sources. You got fat, and that's gonna be the green stuff. And you got carbohydrates, muscle glycogen, that's the blue stuff. Now, these two fuel sources, you got different quantities. With fat, you've got days, days worth of this stuff. Days. Carbohydrates, not so much. Muscle glycogen, you got about two to two and a half hours worth. Moderately intense exercise. So when we ask ourselves the question, how do I fuel for training? It's not a one size fits all question, nor should it be. You have other questions or things about that training session you need to pay attention to. What was the purpose? What's the duration? What's the intensity? And then did you eat before this workout? Well, all of those things come into place because you have all this fuel. Now let's put this into an example. You got a two hour run. Well, first of all, two hour runs aren't that long. Not in the context of the fuel sources we have available. Right? I'm not trying to be snarky, but let's redo this. Two hour run in the context of days worth of fat, two to two and a half hours worth of carbohydrate, and you may or may not have eaten before. And we don't know if we're running hard, running fast, running long, slow days, a little SD. If you've got some tempo runs in between, like what is this two hour run all about? But it's not just the same for a two hour run because you can do 60 minute runs or 90 minute runs or four hour runs. Your fuel sources and what you have on board in your body, that fat and carbohydrate need to play a role. And so does the purpose when you're fueling. Can't be a one size fits all. What somebody else does cannot be what you do. You gotta ask yourself, what do I need? All right, stay on board for this little extra session here because I wanna point out that my comment, two hours not being long, is not a smart ass comment. Two hours when we talk about duration is completely different than when we talk about distance. If I were to say, let's go run 13 miles, that could take me four hours. It could take you an hour and 30 minutes, right? And so distance doesn't help us, but when we do training contacts in the context of time, that really does make a difference when we look at our fuel sources that are on board with days worth of fat and two hours worth of carbohydrate and breakfast on board. Do I really need to be taking down hundreds of grams of carbohydrate over the course of that run? No, you really don't. And that's why I said it's not long. It can be hard. Never said it wasn't going to be hard. Two hour runs might just tax the shit out of you, but it's not long in terms of your fuel system and how you should think about fueling.